quick video to look at some of the direction control valves that we have on offer and how to use them. So if I zoom in here, hopefully you can see the circuit diagram nice and clear. Um, and this piece of equipment, we have got a tree to um, direction control valve. Okay, so three ports um, and two switching positions, basically on and off. Um, if you look, it is push button operated push button operated and it's spring return so for it to stay operated we need to keep our finger pressed on the push button you see we've got the numbers for um, representing our ports for what each port does so for two port number two we have the output port number one is going to be our supply and port number three is our vent and it's venting from underneath just out into the atmosphere and um, there for us so if we are to wire that up, um, and we just have a single acting cylinder up here to represent an output, just so we can see um, things working safely. Single acting cylinder, we've control in one direction only. It will extend out, and then you'll see the spring will just knock it back into place here. So this has a spring, and this has a spring. So I'm getting my air supply from this manifold that's coming down from a compressor down here. We're setting it up at four bar, um, and We'll take the air in and we plug that in on port number one because that's our air supply and then port number two goes up into our single acting cylinder. And you'll see from the circuit diagram, once we activate it, then the switching position will occur and we'll then have air flowing from one up to two. And we can see that in operation here. So I'll turn on the air, operate my push button, puts my air pressure on the bottom, extends my cylinder. Keep my finger on the push button to keep the cylinder out. As I release it, both springs allow the air to exhaust out to prevent number three. And we've a variety of um, these types of switches, you can call them, or inputs nearly, um, for these direction control valves. You see over here, I've got another one. So very similar diagram. Just on the front, you'll see a different symbol. Um, and that's a push button with a little notch in it. And what that means is it's a detent push button, um, which means it'll stay on once I operate it. So you'll notice with this push button, once I push it um, and I release it, it will go from the on to the off position. But here, once I operate this, it will stay on and I have to operate it again um, for it to be released. So if I swap out the outputs, it works in the same way. You'll see we've got port one is going back to our manifold and port 2 is our output here so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in I'm going to turn off my air I'm going to put it into our single acting cylinder just so we can see um, everything working in order and I'll operate the same way once I'll turn on make sure everything's safe turn on my air operate the key switch you see and you can hear that that has extended so that stays on and I have to operate it again or push the push button again for it to be released so it's like a key switch so same operation very similar um, diagram uh, but just I suppose um, we've got a different actuator and then we can also have what we have over here a roller switch and you might not see this diagram too clearly, but it's the same except it's got the roller switch symbol. So up here, we will get air once this is activated. And again, we will have the same sort of ports. We'll take port two and we'll put that into our cylinder. Port one is going to air supply and you'll see when this gets operated. Single acting cylinder comes out, and I release it returns. And we can use these um, you know to sense positions on the roller switch so if I pull that out it could hit that roller switch if I moved it in and we could use that to operate something else uh, so just that's more mechanical mechanically operated here it's manually operated um, 